Alrighty guys, Captain Scott, today we're going to hop on the new Sea Arc Big Easy. Check this boat out. I'll put a few links on there where you can visit Sea Arc's website. I believe it's searcboats.com. This is Captain Mark Naraki's boat. See him on the boat here. We're going to get on here and check this boat out, see how it checks out for comfort. And we're going to try to do a little bit of fishing, so you guys hang tight. All right, guys, we're getting ready to get anchored up, but Captain, what kind of trolling motor you got on this? Minkota, the big Trova, but I use the saltwater version, which is the Riptide. Well, you go to the saltwater a lot, so. Yeah. Uh, also, just the white looks better color on the boat. Yeah, <laughs> matches the boat. <laughs> matches the boat. Now, what pound thrust do you have on this? 112 pounds, 36 bolt. Um, again, it's in the Trova series. But it's called the Riptide because it's a uh, uh, saltwater version. We're going to get anchored up here, guys, and get some baits out, and then we're going to do a little bit more talking about the Sea Ark boat. Alrighty. Demon Dragons we're going to put out today. You can get these at tacklebandit.com. Crap ton of current. Look at that. Yeah. What size sinker are we using, Captain? Six ounce. Big. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of current today, so yeah. I want where my I like to cast out, and I don't like to use something so heavy that it lands and sits. I like to use something that it lands and moves a little bit in the current because the current pushes the bait to where the fish are. Right. So we're gonna go ahead and use six ounce sinker today, which I know if I get it in heavy, heavy current, they'll kind of roll down the ledge a little bit for me and. Hopefully drop in front of a fish. Yeah, I'd say it's what, 30 feet, 29 foot? Guys, as you can see here, we've got two pretty big guys moving around the boat. This, the big easy is really, really stable. Alright guys, we got the lines out. Uh, Move around, got warm. Yeah, he's got the this the rod rack he's got on this boat is the Sea Arc uh, rod rack that Sea Arc makes. He's added little modifications. Put the stainless steel rod holders here on his windshield, which is great. You can put GoPros net, as you've seen earlier, had the net on there. Put your, a lot of times I'll put my pliers down in there. A little bit of everything. Tell me a little bit about your Sea Arc. So uh, this is to me uh, the best 
Sea Orc combination between family, clients, and solid fishing boat. So you got uh, plenty of room up there for clients, and you got the extra room for the family. Yet you have a huge casting deck up front, huge casting deck in the back. Many times, my son and I have been out here fishing. The ladies have been hanging out on the couches. Same with clients. Clients sit in the couches and, and relax and have a good time. My ace and I are running around uh, doing our deal. The second thing that is uh, wonderful, wonderful about this boat is the storage in this boat. I could probably put a uh, two-bedroom uh, single-bath house in this ha in this boat. There's really? that much storage. You're so, talking storage here under the seats. Too? Storage under both seats. There's Let's see huge... some of the storage there, real quick. Yeah. So this, so, so the fans will see it here. It's cold, guys. Yeah, these seats pulled up here. Look at all this. Storage. I got rods in here. Yeah. I got all my lights in there. Awesome storage. Yeah, there's so much storage in here that actually under one of these seats. And the seats, way they've got this lift on this, this is actually dry storage. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Um, you probably want to edit this one out, but they do not do that on the easy cat. They don't. The 26 footer. Yeah. I went and looked at it. Yeah. The only storage you have is these seats, and there's no lift. They designed it differently. And I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, that lip's important. I've got it on my boat. Yeah. And I don't, if it comes a flood, it'll stay dry. Yeah. Easy Cat does not have a lip on any of their fins. Really? I tore the boat apart. Yeah, see, Bryce doesn't either on the BFX. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, I don't know if you can ask the Ark to do that if you buy a different model boat or not. I'm, I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll make yeah. the modifications that you need. Uh, but there's storage uh, underneath the camera. There's storage underneath the, these seats. There's storage on either side of the back deck. 60 gallon live well, 20 gallon bait well, right. anchor locker. I mean, guys, this, I've looked at a bunch of different CR boats, and this one is the best for myself. This one is works wonderful for us. You got the CR Bimini top. Yep. The 200 Suzuki. You got the Hummingbird Helix 12. Yep. This, this boat's really rigged up. Like I said, I'm going to put a link in here. You can check this boat out at here's the website, searcboats.com. If you've got any questions about the Sea Arc Big Easy, call Captain Rocky. Your phone number, Captain? 865-332-6394. Be more than happy to talk to anybody about the boat. Yeah, if you want to, before you go, if you're going to buy one, you're serious about buying one, you have some questions about it, call him. He can tell you all the ins and outs of the Sea Arc uh, boat. Hope you guys enjoyed the video on the Sea Arc boat. We're going to get here and fish a little bit and uh, see what happens. So hang tight. All right, guys, while we're waiting one on the bottom, we'll come back here and show you. This is a Suzuki 200 four stroke. This boat also has pods. This pod with a railing to get out if you want to get in out of the water. The Sea Arc Bimini top. Dual console. Got the Hummingbird Helix 12. Cup holders on both sides. This is just a great fishing and play boat. Table. Yeah, got a table there you can put up. We're just hanging loose here. We're on Watch Bar Lake. Trying to catch a catfish this morning. The water temperature is... 61 degrees. Yeah, it says it's 61.9 degrees. I don't, it may be that warm in this water scene, but uh, it was down in the 40s out in the main channel. Anyway, we're going to stay here a little bit. We've had a couple little bites getting a bite right there, I think, with me, Captain. Yeah. Yeah. So, we just hanging tight. Point the rod that we're getting a bite at. A little flathead bite, it looks like, on this rod here. Not aggressive, though. Yeah, we're having the, uh, what do you guys do at this point? Do you reel down or not? Yeah. You let us know in the comments. Yeah. Watch that rod tip. It's going to go yeah. again, and I guarantee you, we're not sure. Yeah, there you go. See him pulling down on it now. He's been doing that, though. He's been doing that for a bit. Yeah, so when the rod does yeah. this, what, what would you do? Would you reel down on this, or would you wait till a boat over? You tell us. Here's what I tell the clients when I'm doing it, Captain. It's some, if he's not going to commit, at some juncture you got to commit. Exactly. Correct. You know. Yep. And I'm a 
about to commit. <laughs> I got the camera rolling, bro, so. You get a, you get a, uh, I can be a hero or a zero, right? Right now you're zero, so you ain't out nothing. Yeah. He's mouthing that bait a little bit. Well, if you're waiting on that, it'll never happen. <laughs> yes. Fish on? Fish on, guys. Anything to him, boss? little flathead. Alright. Alright guys. Again what we always do. Catch and release. Alright guys, we're caught for mission. We got the Sea Arc boat out. We got a good fish in the boat. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the video. If you have any questions, call me or Captain Rocky. Here's my phone number. Here's my email address. We're gonna fish here a little bit longer. We're gonna move to try another little spot that we're gonna get out of here today. But you guys hang tight, tight lines. Till next time. <laughs>